Something amazing is happening here in Chattanooga. We are making history. Just to think about it now, it's, it's emotional. You know, it's, it feels good. You know, I just, ooh. For more than a decade, workers at Volkswagen have been fighting for a union. They faced tons of political opposition. We've seen plants close that made the decision to go union, so I hope that's not what happens here. And two failed votes. But now, things are different. I can't explain it. It's, it's not like the first two times. Now, it's like we can roll our shoulders back because we like, we got it. We got it. Workers are once again voting to join the UAW this week. If they're successful, they'd be the first auto workers to unionize in decades. It's hard to overstate what kind of victory that would be and the message that it would send to non-union auto workers across the country. First has bragging rights. Nobody ever remembers second place. And I want us to be remembered for all time. So this week we're in Tennessee talking to workers on the brink of making history about what they're fighting for and what a win would change, not just here, but across the entire country. There's a lot of safety issues inside of the plant that employees bring up but are not being addressed. And we feel as though if we had a union that had our back, these things would be addressed. I had three surgeries being there, three. July of last year, I had a wreck, an iron wreck drop, dropped on me. I got a whole rotator cuff surgery and I'm still in therapy now. I have not been the same since this happened to me. My, it has changed my whole entire life. I only have 65% use of my arm. I can't pick up my grandbaby. Our healthcare costs went up almost 15%. Well, they gave us a small 11% increase after the big three negotiated their contract. Well, our insurance costs went up, so it ate up, so we, we don't see any of that. Well, if we're gonna work for a company like this and they're gonna generate that kind of money, then why can't we have our fair share as well? Volkswagen sales have shot out the roof. $78 billion profit over the past three years. We were able to grow revenues and underlying operating results in a difficult economic environment. We're the largest automaker in the world, but yet the employees are here struggling. I, I don't really like the fact that very few people are pocketing all of the money while we as workers are out, are out here generating it and we're, we're not getting what we deserve. The working class people shouldn't have to suffer because we make this world. Because if we're not taken care of, we ain't gonna be here to make these cars. Everybody is wanting to make this a political issue. The UAW is a sinking ship and they're coming south looking for a bailout. There is nothing political about what we, the employees, are doing here. We are the union. If they just spent one day doing what we do, they would probably change their minds about us not unionizing. Our sister plants, you know, throughout the world are all unionized. We're only asking for what's fair and equitable and what the other plants have. We want to be like them. That's how we get better. My son started at Volkswagen about two months ago. We were walking in yesterday together and I looked at him as we were walking and I said, hey man, did you ever imagine that you'll be walking into the same job with your old man? And he just laughed and he was like, all the time, dad, all the time. I said, well, here we are. I'm doing this mainly for my daughter. She's the reason why I get up every morning and go to work, and she's the reason why I'm pushing for better health care. I'm pushing for my retirement so she does not have to worry. And if the future, if she does choose to work at Volkswagen, she know my mama stood here and made sure that when I got here, that everything would be okay. I want to be able to tell my children and my grandchildren and great-grandchildren that, hey, I had a hand in changing things around here and throughout the South for you and everyone else. What workers in Chattanooga are building is huge. Just one year ago, this kind of victory would have been unimaginable. But last summer, union auto workers at Ford, GM, and Stellantis went on strike. They won things that no one thought was possible, and their win sparked an organizing wave at non-union car companies like Toyota, Honda, Hyundai, Mercedes, and more. This kind of simultaneous organizing is unlike anything we've seen before. And if workers here finally win their union, it'll change not only their lives, but the entire future of the auto industry. If you want something in life, you have to get up and go out and snatch it because nobody's gonna give you anything. I know that we're gonna get our union. I just know that once we do, 
everyone else is going to see if they can do it, we can do it too. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe so we can stay on important union fights like this one. We'll be here all week following Volkswagen's union election, so if you got tips or story ideas, drop them in the comments.